hi everybody in the previous video session we have seen about the formation of the soils as i told that the soils are formed due to the geological cycle of weathering the geological cycle of weathering consists of four steps erosion transportation deposition and upheaval when a rock undergoes the weathering process most of the soil mass when it is lying at the place of its origin the deposited mass is known as residual soil this is the leftover mass over at the place of origin a good example of residual soil sir block cotton soils lateral soils etc the broken rock pieces if they carried away by the other agents such as gravels gravity wind water etc to the other place these soils are known as transported soils so here we come across two types of soils one is residual soil the other is transported soils if the particle size is the basic criteria then based on the particle size soils are classified as two types one is coarse grain soil the other is fine grain soils in the coarse grain soils particle size is larger hence gravitational forces are dominant good examples are gravel sands whereas in case of fine grain soils which are formed due to the chemical weathering process particles is very finer transport mission of the original particle takes place so here the surface forces are dominant the third category is inorganic soils and organic soils inorganic soils are those soils which do not have any presence of decayed vegetational matter good example pure gravel sand silt clay etc whereas organic soils these organic soils are formed due to the chemical decomposition process they have the presence of organic matter decayed vegetational matter etc these organic soils are also known as cumulose soils they are lighter in nature and when we construct on these soils they undergo large settlements hence organic soils are not preferred for the construction purpose fourth category is that based on the internal parameters associated within the soil mass suppose if the internal force is a cohesion what is cohesion cohesion is nothing but the intermolecular attractive force if there is a presence of cohesion it is known as cohesive soils if internally the particles are having good roughness friction among themselves those are known as cohesion less soils that means classification criteria is cohesion and angle of internal friction the cohesive soils possess only cohesion and cohesion less soils possess only friction some soils if they are bound together they have both cohesion and as well as friction which are known as c5 soils so hence 
we have four types of soil. One is residual, transported. The second is based on particle size, coarse grain soils and fine grain soils. Third category, inorganic soils and organic soils. Fourth is cohesive soil and cohesion less soils. That means if you take up a gravel soil mass, a gravel soil based on particle size, it is a coarse grain variety. And it is cohesion less variety. And it is inorganic soil. Similarly, if you take up a sand, a coarse grain soil, and cohesion less, and inorganic soil. So, that is the classification of the soils based 